part of their snack. Well, you know, the best part about having pigs is you can see how close we got the garden to there. Yeah. And anything that's not right goes right over the fence to the pigs. Sure. And they love it. Right. And we grind our own. You can see we got the tractor and grinder. We grind all of our own feed. So I'm going to go get the acorns here if you want to just, just grab a dozen so or so. Are these apples here for the exclusive use of the pigs? But, or do the people get to eat them too? No, the people get to eat them too. <laughs> Actually, we have a cider press that we use. Oh, do you really? Yeah, and so it's really fun with the kids. And me. Oh, I'm sure they do. We're at a garden shot now. It's just a case of fertilize it themselves and that. And they till it all up with their noses. That's amazing how that'll come back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. There are a few of them, anyway. Throw him an apple and see what he does. They'll come back in a hurry. There. <laughs> There's your picture. <laughs> Throw them some acorns too. And actually, we got walnut trees along here as well. Right, yeah. They drop in and they. Oh, okay. This is only about just a handful. I think the rest of them are sleeping right now. Oh, they love those acorns. <laughs> We'll just make a feeding frenzy here. Now watch this. Do you mind talking a little bit about the pigs and pasture raised, having them outside, and sure, uh, just why you do what you do with pigs? Mm -hmm. Well, these are all purebred Berkshire. It's a breed that originated in England back in the 1600s. Um, our big focus here is to make sure that we're raising the hogs the way, the way they were done 40, 50, 60 years ago. So they have access to the outside. You can see they have shelter. They have shelter down here, but um, they can come and go as they like. And they're a very, very low stress environment. So therefore we see the quality of the meat considerably higher because they're not stressed. Now our hogs grow slower. A purebred Berkshire breed is gonna go, grow slower. But what they do is, is that the quality of the meat, it, it's just kind of like a fine wine. You, know, you have a wine that's one year old versus one that's 10 years old, you know. It's the same thing with some of these pigs here. So we do, you know, our hogs go to market at, I would say probably typically seven months or so. Um, by comparison, confinement hogs go to market at four and a half. So we're almost, we're not quite twice as much. But the other thing is, is just, it's, it's the right thing to do. You know, ultimately eat these hogs and you want them to have a good life. It's a short life, but you want it to be a good life, you know? And so there's no, and you can see now, if you went into a confinement facility, I'm in the walls, you know, but you can come in here and they just are as docile as you'd want to see. And um, so no, we've been very pleased. This is, you know, it's the old fashioned way. This is the way my grandpa, you know, I'm a fourth generation hog farmer. Oh yeah? Yep. Actually, probably fifth. Uh, my gr great grandfather came, great great grandfather came from Ireland. But anyway, um, this is the way my grandpa used to do it, from actually my dad. So and that was in Iowa. How long have you been on this farm? We bought the original, this was a, a farm that kind of got subdivided and subdivided and subdivided. So we have bought the original house in 10 acres in 93. Then we bought another, was it 35 acres in like 99? 
and then another 35 acres in 2004. So it's 80 acres. The original farm was 160, so we've been able to put back about half of it. And uh, But all the buildings and stuff you see here, Sue and I built, well, we built this stuff. I mean, we didn't build the Morton building. <laughs> but uh, yeah, when we first moved here, you couldn't walk back here. It was just overgrown, the barn had collapsed. I mean, there was, it was a disaster. So. And how old is this? Is this breed, did you say? Well, if you look at the legends, they claim that it started in uh, the 1600s in England. Uh, what was his name? Cromwell, used to be a general or something, sure. had discovered them in the, uh, actually it was in Berkshire. It's a, and he said it had just wonderful marbling, wonderful quality. And uh, so that's actually where the breed came from. And it's actually one of the oldest breeds. And they, uh, I think the American Berkshire breed actually was one of the first ones to get uh, incorporated in 1875. Mm. So I remember growing up, I mean, the Berkshire breed has changed. And the other thing that makes a little bit of difference with us is we're really focused on the genetics. So we've developed this line over 10 years and we work with uh, a Berkshire breeder in Iowa that, that they just have incredible meat quality. But you can look at these pigs and you can look at the, uh, their profiles. You, know, you can take a look at the hams, you can take a look, you know, I mean, it's not a real long rail type of hog, you know. These hogs carry more fat, but basically with fat comes flavor. Okay. So, and they're well, they're well suited to that. Now you are, are you pretty unique in that you don't just raise these hogs, but you actually process these hogs with your own, in your own facility as well. That's that? right. We have two butchers that work for us, and um, they do a wonderful job. You know, we've got really um, top-line equipment for them to use. Mm -hmm. um, we're a USDA inspected facility. We have an inspector in there every day. Uh, food safety is extremely important to us. You know, we're continually swabbing and testing for listeria and uh, which we've never had any outbreaks whatsoever. Sure. And I think the fact that we're small, it allows you know, our butchers to really you know, do an excellent job as far as the sanitation and everything else. And the other thing is, is that, and this is important to us, you know, we pay our, our butchers a very good salary. You know, we provide uh, health care if they choose to take it. Some do, some don't. Uh, free dental, free disability. We look at the whole spectrum. You know, how the hogs are raised, you know, how they're fed, how they're treated, how our employees are treated as far as doing the, the processing. And um, I think that kind of makes us unique compared to a lot of people because we have more, much more control than the average, you know, farmer has over that. So you have control over the way they're raised and the way they're processed because you basically own the processing facility. Exactly. <laughs> because, I mean, the kids were little. You know, and uh, we had babysitters and stuff like that. But I mean, I used to think when we would be on the fence up there and stuff, this is going to be hog heaven because I mean, it's beautiful around here. It it's just gorgeous. is. It really you know, is. and they get a lot of good exercise, and it just it really does well for the meat quality. It so, run around in yeah. real dirt, open air, yeah. like this is. Yeah, I mean, eating grass, eat, you know, it's fantastic for this. Just you can tell the quality of the meat immediately. Like as far as you know, my approach now, like I can never go back to mm -hmm. the commercial right, side of things. Right. Yeah, I no. just don't want to eat it. I mean, I don't want to serve it. I want to it just doesn't react well. And well, I always still will say the same thing always is that I always find that um, in a confinement setup, you you actually can smell the methane gases when you're actually cooking the. Product. Absolutely, wow. I, I absolutely agree. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I mean, there, there is a difference. So. That's the first thing I can tell as far as when I bring a hog like this into the kitchen. There is no smell. And that's the first thing I always mm -hmm. mention to people. It's like, smell the air right now. Exactly. You do not have any of that ammonia driven. Right. So, no, I mean, they're pretty much taken care of. They get fed, wa fed water, shelter, you know, and they make their own choice of what they're doing. And otherwise, they don't really get bothered too much. Mm -hmm.